I love the the situation that Martha has with Roman, kind of like rebuilding that trust, regaining that trust between father and daughter is something I really connected to. And then just, you know, the story of Roman and the Mustang. Well, for example, like my dog. <laughs> I love my dog more than anything. When I'm angry or stressed out, I just like, I look at her and I'm like, okay, and I hold her and I feel better. And I think that the connection that these inmates can have with the horses, that's the, that's the rehab. And it, it brings out something else in them, as you see in this movie with Roman and his Mustang. They're parallels. They can't be tamed. And then somehow their combative energy tames each other. And um, I think it's really important. And it's a real program. And I hopefully, if this movie gets around to the right people, you know, it can spread out to prisons that would be able to have this program. I think it's really important. Well, it was amazing because I did Blockers with the female director, Kay Cannon, and then I came and did Mustang with Lur. And I was so excited to work with another female director, but she never said no or you're doing this wrong or you need a blah, blah, blah. She was like, okay, now we're going to do it this way. She just had this, she cared so much about, it's her baby, this film is her baby, and you could really feel that. And with Martha, she was really careful with Martha and, you know, how we were making this character grow together. Um, just the atmosphere she created, it was like probably, no offense, the most fun I've ever had on a project. And it wasn't even that it was like fun, it was just like, I learned so much and everybody was so calm. It's those European vibes, you know, it's the French. <laughs> you know? Make it look so effortless, yes. right? Yeah, well, she's amazing. Yeah, she's gonna do great things. You know, I was excited that in such a dull situation, I could be the light, you know what I mean? I could make everybody smile, I could, I could be something to really look at and love about this film, you know what I mean? Because it was such a tough situation and such a hard thing to follow. But I also had never worked with horses, you know, and, and the two things they say in Hollywood is don't work with animals and don't work with kids, you know what I mean? Because they're super hard to work with. But this this big up to me as a man, you know what I mean? It moved the needle for me not only as an actor, but as a person. Like, I've, I've been scared of horses my whole life, and I just overcame that, you know? And that's something nobody can take from me, and I can, like, tame a wild horse now, so look out. You're at your most vulnerable point when you're in prison. And a horse is a prey animal. It always feels vulnerable, you know, and it, and it only feels comfortable around those who love it. You know what I mean? And if you try to go big on the horse, it's going to go bigger on you. If you move fast, it's going to move faster. So, you know, it's, it's important to be able to see yourself in that mirror. You know what I mean? And it's really cool to play the character I'm playing because you get to see Matias go through this process of having that mirror being held up to him. And I'm just narrating the entire thing, you know what I mean? I'm telling him how to handle his own life. So it's kind of cool, it's dope. Well, I, I think anytime you've got the setting of prison, you got the concrete and the steel and everything, any, uh, any way to soften that up, any way to find some hope and some redemption in that, I think uh, you can't go wrong, you know? If you want to help a man, help him help himself. And um, that kind of goes hand in hand. You know, put somebody to work with something, give them something to do, and, and hopefully they figure it out. Because I think at the end of it, it's uh, it's on us, right? We can stand and complain about it all we like, but um, sooner or later you got to do something about it. You know, I didn't, uh, my character, I didn't have too much interaction with him. So I, that was not, uh, that, that was not, those were not my days, you know what I mean? So uh, I grew up with horses, so anything with that, with that amount of power and that, that amount of size, it's humbling to say the least. Look, I think any time you can take, um, you know, a, a, a different point of view, you know, from, you know with her being from France and, and just having the sensibility that she has and putting it in this hard, this hard environment, 
it's mean, just a different perspective, and know, it's not privilege. one that you would uh, you would thing, normally think of. You know what you know, I mean? It's not, it's not a thing but that's I think that's where life, you know what I mean. So it's hard for that's where the interesting that things aspect, come from. You know that's I mean? where that's and, where you find you know, things. That's where you find the magic. You know what I mean? You got to have opposing feelings and opposing thoughts and opposing sensibilities, and then let it let it shake out. When I read this article about animal therapy, I went to this prison and I could observe different steps of the training. And what I was really struck by is this dance and this um, uh, invisible dialogue between man and horse, trying to build respect and trust. And I thought it was so beautiful just to see visually without words, so without lie, without any judgment. And you just have two creatures that has to re-educate themselves and to resurrect themselves. And I, I was like, this is so poetic. And this, you know, this kind of drop of poetry within this very aggressive and violent environment is something I really wanted to, you know, to put my eye on. It's very important. I thought that um, thanks to their stories, uh, I really, really um, uh, could deepen the story and the characters. And it was invaluable as a research to kind of really go deeper into. Uh, you know the the, the the arc of those characters and uh, and and be authentic as possible. So yes, I was really glad that I had three of them that accepted to come on board and and, and to be in the film. Uh, I met Matthias several years ago, and I knew that he was he loved this story, and I knew I loved his work. So when we sat down together, I could see that he had something so uh, explosive, like the, the, his emotions, his sensibility was always under, you know, on the edge of his eyes, of his lips, and and. Uh, and also, he had something very unpredictable in his physicality, in his energy, that kind of reminded me of a wild horse. So I was like, well, that's, that's going to be interesting, you know, to see him with a wild horse in a confined space. Uh, anyway, he's wonderful. He, um, I think he had this strong need to tell this story on a personal level, which was for me a blessing, because it's the best partnership, you know, and we're driven by the same passion, so, yeah, it's really nice. I, this story was really close to his heart. He's a big advocate of uh, wild horses preservation and uh, when he read my script when I was selected at the lab he reads everyone's script is very involved into like all those workshop but this one he was like yeah I I want to help you to make the story because I want to see it and, uh, and it's, uh, it's 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 urgent it's a message that we need to, to tell I hope they I hope this film can raise awareness about rehabilitation about the possibilities of change and uh, and the second chance and and giving you know being a little bit more um, less judgmental a bit more kind I think it's film about kindness and connection I think the story is very relevant I mean the the, the, the subject matter is you know is, is out there it's on the forefront in the media so I think it's very important and urgent to tell that story and at the same time as you know for an actor it's pretty challenging and scary to to enter that to enter that space, uh, which is kind of mysterious and adventurous, and uh, and a huge challenge. Um, so it kept me awake at night. So I was permanently scared. I was not, I was not going to make it. But but that that triggers me, and that you know wakes you up, and that makes you work hard, and then and then maybe you'll get somewhere. Yeah. I mean, it's a trip. <laughs> it's a trip because you're you're working with with an, with an animal that is so sincere and so straightforward and so responsive and reactive to what it gets, it really reacts to what you give it. So it, it doesn't get more sincere than that. There's no agenda, there's no, you know, it doesn't calculate, it doesn't anticipate its own actions. So, so basically it's, it's, it's the most beautiful partner to act with because they're, they're always honest, permanently. So it's a, it's a blessing. I mean, I don't want to talk about miracles, but I, I do believe in kindness and I think that kindness can, can create a lot of miracles. And, and I think that's what happens with, with, uh, with this program. Well, she was working on it for, I think, approximately six years before I got involved. So you feel that it's, it's her baby, it's her passion project. It's not, it's not just a director for hire situation. It's, it's somebody who wakes up with this and, and goes to sleep with this um, every day for six years. So, so that's a different type of passion that you bring to the table. And it's very, and you know, you're very grateful as an actor to be part of such a, such a journey. 
Well, it's you know why it's so successful because to be um, successful as a horseman, you have to work on yourself. You have to learn to mean what you say and say what you mean and not say it mean. You have to learn to communicate and be a good leader. These are all things that wild horses respond to because the way they're designed and developed by nature. So it's all the part of human development, behaving, um, behaving well and be having good social skills and, and communication skills. It's oftentimes hard for us to look at ourselves and to, to make change. That's the hardest thing to do is, is look within to make the changes that we need to do to be successful in our lives and to be uh, responsible and good role models for our children, for our community.